Hi guys, my name is Bob Solomon for Tiny Anis Creations. Today in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to add some cool 3D models in your video using 3D camera tracker. Let's open Adobe After Effects CO6. Yeah, it's open. Uh, let's start our work. Open file and import file. Open your video. Yeah, I am imported a video which is 1020 pixels. Let's add to new composition. Oh, press caps. Oh, it came. Yeah, this is the video. Let's trim this video to 20 seconds. Oh, no, no, 10 seconds, sorry. Yeah, 10 seconds. Let's trim it and trim compose. Okay. Yeah, it's came. 10 seconds. Uh, let's add the effect 3d camera tracker 3d camera tracker yeah, it came let's drag that and put it on your video yeah now it's analyzing the frames yeah it's my video is 320 frames yeah it's analyzing yeah now i am back and you can see a little dots which the 3d camera has tracked uh, now place the target button here on a point where you want to place your model so i am want to place my model here click it and right click and create null and camera your null and camera has been created now we can create new uh, solid name it 3d model uh, okay then click ok and select the 3d model and go to effects video copilot and element yeah it's loading uh, and it loaded go to scene setup oh, here it opened element 3d now i am going to use jet strikes oh, one of the jet okay let's use combat strike Oh, your number of um, jets here which you can download this jet track from video copilot uh, it's very nice this 3d models I'm going to select one of these jets ok and click ok it will be loader uh, here is your video and open and I want place it where you want now then click ok here yeah it will not appear here because uh, to appear it or uh, open here group one create group null and create a group null has been created and place this 3d model down the track null open the group null press p and copy the position control c and open group null p and copy the position control v and open R orientation press R and copy the orientation and copy and go you and press R and paste it your 3d model has became here yeah you can see here that small now I'm going to change its size press S 
Oh, and it came here. Make it size bigger. And press R and take the x axis and place straight. Sorry. Place it straight. Yeah, it's okay. Then rotate it. Sorry. Oh. Uh, then open. Oh, uh, yes. And I want to make it size bigger. Oh yeah, here you can see it. It is bigger. And press R and rotate it where you want to place. I want to place right. Yeah, it came. And push it back a little. No, I want the this judge landing gear to be open so open to open it press uh, click on 3d model uh, and group one uh, here you can see aircraft rig landing gear open it 100 percent and here you can see the wheels are been opened so it would be like to be it it should be like touching the ground so I think so it is touching the ground let's move it and see yeah I think so it's touching the ground okay it's cool now let's care let's come back to group null and press R uh, make the y-axis little bit uh, straight make the jet strike you can do whatever size or whatever angle you want to do or place however you walk, want to place your model you can place it yeah next go to yes size I want to make it little bit big bigger yeah now it looks it looks good next i want to push it little back push it little back now it's look like uh, sp standing in 3d space little downwards Uh, now we are going to place some shadows down uh, to look it more realistic uh, let's add some shadow or uh, select your 3d model go to effects and your precipitate uh, go to and add drop shadow here you can see shadows uh, downwards it is where you can this button is to place the angle where you want the shadow to be dropped I want some little that side because the sunlight falling uh, on my left side so add some softness increase softness and increase the distance uh, add the distance and de uh, increase your softness so it looks like more realistic let's see it yeah you can see it uh, the shadow has been dropped so let's decrease our softness uh, and angle and distance 
let's decrease our distance and yeah it's perfect oh. and last thing is to add just a curves oh. select your 3d model and type your curves and drag it and drop it on your 3d model and increase the brightness yeah okay it look like realistic somewhat realistic okay. now to make the jet more animated uh, let's select 3d model and your scene setup you can see group one your canopy open this 100% now you can see it is animated the door has been opened yeah now you can uh, animate it by just pressing the keyframe place the point where you want uh, I want here in 3 seconds and just press at 0% press the keyframe and drag it where you want the last stop to be open I want uh, uh, your seventh second oh. okay your sixth uh, make it hundred percent yeah now it has been animated just the door is opening uh, now it's finished let's rend it uh, open the file go to export and add to render queue let's run it or uh, lose less uh, place the options whatever you want the best settings and output file destination is desktop save yeah now read it I takes some times to run it please wait till it is rendered full yeah okay guys it has been rendered now let's save it and you can also uh, experiment on this uh, camera tracker and models and you can also do many graphics uh, let's have the preview uh, is, here is the videos preview okay guys that's it you can also subscribe this channel for more use and leave a comment below and like uh, which helps us a little bit and you can also follow us on facebook page and google plus and uh, if you have any doubt please uh, mail us on the link which is below given below uh, and thank you guys that's it uh, this is bob solomon for tiny Annie's creations